Romare Bearden is best known for collage art that used magazines, fabric, and painted paper to represent American Black culture. Music, family, and daily life were common themes of Bearden's artwork. He believed it was important for Black artists to support the civil rights movement and fight for equality. Today, you will make your very own jazzy musician inspired by Bearden's work. I have two pieces of paper, scissors, glue stick, markers, crayons, and a black marker to outline. Starting with my first piece of paper, I'm gonna fold it down twice, once and then again, and this will divide my paper up and help me draw my person in proportion, which means everything is the right size. Okay, see how I have my folds as my guides? Using my black marker, I'm gonna draw a circle, a big circle in that top section of my paper. Now I'm gonna draw my bow tie, which is attached to what will be the head. And now I'm gonna draw the body. So I'm gonna go down two folds to this bottom fold right there. So I'm gonna curve over and down same on the other side, over and down, and draw a straight line across that bottom fold. Now I'm gonna draw three parallel lines, which means they're side by side with each other for the two legs. Time to color. I'm using markers in green, yellow, and orange. You can use whatever colors you'd like. For the head, I'm going to use a brown marker because I am basing my art on the style of Romare Bearden, and he was inspired by the Harlem Renaissance, which had a lot of African-American musicians. Time for the background. Now I'm gonna use crayons and I'm going to try to make it look like there's a lot of movement. So instead of using one color, I'm gonna use several colors and I'm gonna create these really quick like patches of color that are gonna overlap and that are gonna kind of combine together. I want it to look kind of like the way a party looks, you know, where there's lots of color, lots of movement. It should be fun. You can do the same, or you can use squiggles, or you can use curly lines, you can use spirals, you can use different shapes. However you want to add movement and color and fun to your background. Be sure to fill it all the way up so that there's no white showing. All right, now that I've filled this page up, I'm gonna grab my second piece of white paper and just like before, I'm going to fold it down so that I have four sections. This will help me with my proportions again. This time, I'm going to draw two arms and they're all in that bottom section so I'm not going past that folded line. That's helping me with how big I need to make my arms. Color them in. You can either use the same color as your band outfit from before, or you can choose a different color. And now you're gonna draw an instrument. There's the trumpet, a saxophone, a piano, a guitar, and the drums. Pick one and draw what you want your musician to be playing. You can use mine or you can find another instrument I'm drawing my saxophone in one single section of my paper. The guitar, you might wanna draw in two sections. Those are just suggestions for how big to make your instrument. 
When you've drawn it, be sure to color it in. Time to cut out your instrument and arms. Do your best, but it's okay if they're still white around the edges. Ta-da! All right, time to glue it all together. I'm gonna start by positioning everything where I want it to go. My arm and my hand should be near. And now see how this arm is a little bit too big. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut one of my arms a little bit shorter. Now it looks like the arm is bent and you can only see it from the elbow. So. It kind of depends on what instrument you picked for your musician to play. When you have a rough idea of where you want your arms to go, you can glue everything down so that you have your jazzy musician. <laughs> 